Hi guys, today I'm doing my TBR for the Booktubeathon 2016. So the Booktubeathon takes place in the week from the 18th to Sunday the 24th and I actually planned on doing my review on the Sunday before that but there is a really cool giveaway and I just spilled tea. But there is a really cool giveaway for when you kind of submit your TBR video until the 11th, I think. So, you know, I thought I just gonna do my TBR today. I don't think much is gonna change anyway. I have it pretty much set. It kind of depends on what I will read this week, but mostly I already really know what I wanna read. I do have three days of school still in that week. I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, which are my kind of busiest days in school so that's a little annoying and I probably won't get much reading done in these first three days and if there's a cool video challenge I probably won't really be able to participate in them but yeah after that on, on Thursday I can really like start and do it and yeah so I am gonna aim for completing all of the challenges but as always this TBR could completely change I want to read whatever I'm in the mood for and this is just really something that right now I feel like I really want to read and that would complete all the challenges but if I feel like something different I will just read something different mostly it's important to me that I read and have fun and not like complete anything and not have fun with that <laughs> so the first challenge is read a book with yellow on the cover and for this I I'm going with Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. I have already started this and will probably be a bit into it when the Booktubeathon starts. If I get like halfway done before the Booktubeathon starts, I still have like over 300 pages. So, <laughs> I mean, that's that's fine. The second challenge is read a book only after sunset. I have two choices for this but they kind of are in other challenges so I'm not gonna pick a specific book right now. I'm just gonna see in the week how everything works out. The third challenge is read a book that you discovered through booktube and this is another one where I have two other choices that you know are also for the other challenges so this is definitely something I can complete as well. The fourth challenge is read a book by your favorite author and for this one, I am going to reread Vicious by V.E. Schwab. As you know, Victoria Schwab is my favorite author. And this one also has yellow on the cover. So in case I finish Dreams of Gods and Monsters or I just don't feel like it, I also have this one for that first challenge. This is also a book that I could potentially read after sunset because I feel like it would fit really well. And also this is a book that I discovered through booktube. So I could potentially complete four challenges with just reading Vicious. The fifth challenge is read a book that's older than you and for this one I do have a few choices I still have a play that I want to read but I also have The Awakening by Kate Chopin this is a book that was published I think in the late 1800s I think like around 1890 it is a really short book it is another book that I could potentially read only after sunset because it's so short this is also a book that I discovered through booktube because Whitney from Witty Novels was the one that talked about it and said that it was a really great book with really great writing and like feminist elements and I got it for free on my Kindle and so you know this would be the perfect choice. The sixth challenge is read and watch a book to movie adaptation and for this one I'm going with Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I don't think I have anything on my TBR that was made into a movie but since I've been wanting to continue reading the Harry Potter series I thought you know what a great opportunity to finally reread Prisoner of Azkaban. This one is my favorite and I am really interested to see how I feel about it now and I love the movie as well so yeah I really am looking forward to finally reading this and watching the movie right after. And if I have time or if I feel in the mood for it this book does not complete any challenges but still it is a short book that I've been wanting to read for a few weeks now and that is The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. This has only like 300 pages so you know if I feel like it I will definitely pick it up as well but it kind of depends I guess how I am feeling with these other books and how I'm doing with the challenges. The seventh challenge is as always to read seven books in this one week. I as always just do a read 300 pages. 300 pages a day is still a lot especially when you're three days really busy but it is something that just feels a bit less complicated. It's just something that leaves me a bit more freedom of what I want to read because otherwise I would only read short books or read novellas and that is not really the goal that I have 
for this week and so yeah if I can read 300 pages a day that would be really cool but honestly as always I don't really see it happening and this was my book on TBR I'm really excited if anything changes if I you know do end up wanting to read something different or I complete something earlier I will just post a picture on Twitter with you know my kind of updated TBR so definitely follow me on Twitter if you're interested in that in general for any kinds of updates I will mostly post that on Twitter I don't think I will be doing video updates or maybe I do like one on Thursday to kind of you know say what I've accomplished so far in the middle of the readathon but other than that just check my Twitter to see how I am doing and yeah, let me know if you're participating in Booktubeathon. Hope you're going to have lots of fun in that week and good luck to you. Thank you so, so much for watching. I guess I'll see you soon. Bye.